I am Duke Johnson. Uh, I'm a film director and I have worked primarily in stop motion animation and I directed the film Anomalisa with Charlie Kaufman. Starburns Industries is a full service animation studio. We really do it all. I mean, everything from stop motion like Anomalisa to Rick and Morty. It's amazing because we're run primarily by our creatives, which really uh, enables us to produce, I think, some cutting edge, funny, new, original things. The main reason we went with the ProJet 660 was the color palette that was available. Well, the one thing that made Anomalisa different than every other film I've worked on was the uh, realism in the faces and the puppets. Um, it's never been done before, so it was a real advance in the art form. The main advantage is that you can get so much more detail that you just can't get otherwise. Otherwise you'd be sculpting each face, replacement face to use, and uh, that's fine for really cartoony animation, but um, especially for a film like a normal Lisa with it. Realism is, um, has never been done before. You can never sculpt the faces this way. Sorry, I, I grabbed your hand. It's okay. It's a reflex. But I don't like to fly. I said it's okay. You can let go now, though. Essentially, the story, it was just, it came out of the character and the story and, and a need for the characters to be very emotive and to have, um, a very uh, subtle and broad range of emotion. You know, we started looking at all the different ways that puppets can be fabricated. I mean, they can be clay, um, they, can have, they can have silicone masks on top of very complicated mechanics, and there's, there's many different ways that, that puppets are created. And We were looking for a style of animation that would give us basically the broadest range of performance. With the ProJet 660 from 3D Systems, we can um, print out as many faces as we want. And we have multiple animators working with the same characters. Um, and we don't have to worry about the puppets staying on model, which is a problem in claymation, where you have different animators working in the same character. It's always going to be sculpted uh, slightly differently. So um, it helps keep a consistent look in the puppets. To be honest, the ProJet 660 offered us the opportunity to be as specific as we wanted to be with the performances because, you know, dealing with stop motion, you're limited by your materials. This tool allowed us to create the, as broad a range of emotions as we wanted to. Um, and really, I mean, we wouldn't have been able to sculpt the performances uh, the way that we did with, without it.